Hey there, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Daily Psalms for Hope. Uh, today is Friday. You've made it through another week. Way to go. And so uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Psalm 8. And this is a, a psalm that David wrote. And so let's uh, get out your Bibles and let's look at this. I'm going to focus today on verses 3 and 4. And so encourage you to read it all. It's only nine verses in total. Uh, but we're going to focus on three and four today. It says, When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? I, I like this because David is, is uh, kind of looking at the creation uh, he's looking at the, uh, at the stars in the sky and the immense uh, vastness of, of everything that uh, he is seeing. And he is accrediting to that uh, God, that God has created all of this, uh, that he has set all of this in place. And so, you know, but then he goes to, well, if, if, if you are God who set all this in place, why are you mindful of me? Because I'm just a little piece of sand in the vast beach of life uh, when it comes to all the people that, are, that you have created. And... Um, you know, I kind of like this because it really puts into place uh, in David's mind how he is, is related to this creator of all things. Um, but he goes on to say in, verse, in the rest of the verses that God has given us dominion over all of this that he's created. He, he has a special attention and interest in you and in me. And, uh, you know, David understood that. Uh, he, he, when I look at your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars and all that you've set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? You know, this, this, this person uh, that is milling around your creation, uh, you are mindful of you know them, you know them intimately, and I, you know, I, I think of uh, I think of where we've been in this last year, and, and to and to really realize the depth and the uh, and the intimacy that this God has for us, that He got us through this mess that uh, we have been in for the last year. Uh, the, this creator of all things could have left us alone, uh, could have had other things preoccupy his time and mind and heart and soul, uh, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He is mindful of all of us. He knows you intimately. He knows me intimately. What a what a what a blessing that is. Uh, this creator of all things knows you intimately and wants to be a part of your life, wants to be a part of my life, and desires for us to recognize him as the one who created all things and desires us to recognize him as one who wants to be a part of our lives. Uh, and as Jesus says, knock and you shall receive. Knock and he will, the door will be opened. This God that has given us uh, the creation of the world wants to intimately have an encounter with you, with me. Uh, I think that's what David was in awe of. Uh, David knew uh, the, the, the vastness of this God, but yet he also knew the intimacy of this God. 
And what a great way to, to end our week uh, because this is the God that we serve. And all he's asking us to do is to recognize that, to believe in that, trust in that, open our hearts to that. Uh, because this God of the universe wants to be intimately involved with you. This God of the universe wants to be intimately involved with me and, and, to, and to move us and be in us and to help us and to strengthen us and to empower us to get through life. He has, he has given us dominion over all that he has created uh, and desires nothing more than this extreme intimacy with us. What a powerful image that is that David paints for us today. You who made the heavens and earth and everything that's in them, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? David knew the extraordinary blessing of this intimacy, of the intimacy of God. And I pray that all of us who listen to this, who forward this or whatever you do with this, uh, knows it, him or herself, the intimacy of the God that loves you and cares for you, a God that died on a cross for you, uh, for the sake of your sins and for your eternal life. And so may God's blessings be upon you this day and, and have a great weekend. Worship him, praise him, and give him glory for he is worthy of it. And uh, may that be uh, your posture this weekend, inviting this intimate God uh, into your heart and into your life. So God's blessings, and as always, be a blessing whenever and wherever you can.